Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to our AM transmitter. Um, this will probably be the last episode I put up for a while. As you know, Hurricane Irma is uh, just about to hit on Florida. I'm in Jacksonville. And uh, as of tonight, which is Thursday, it looks like it's going to do a dead shot right up the center. And uh, it'll probably be a Category 3 by the time it gets up here. So I don't know how long I'll have power or if this workshop will even exist when we're done. But we'll, we'll play that by ear. Anyway, so where we are here is, uh, if you remember, my voltages were still pretty, uh, pretty erratic um, that when we were working on this last time. And if you remember, the optimal voltage for the B plus is, uh, is 300 volts. And, um, and I was getting around 340. So um, what I did is I took over here, I removed the 2K resistor. And I'll show you what that looks like on the schematic in a moment. I removed the 2K resistor and I replaced it with 4K. And I basically have a 2, a 1, and a 1 connected. And I've got everything on. And look where exactly where I am. 300B plus and exactly 167. So... Let me change the battery and I'll tell you a little bit more. <laughs> My camera's going to die. Okay, so from the perspective that this was designed by Rick, these voltages are exactly right on the money. And when I flip the, um, the high power switch, watch where we go. I go up to a 340 on the B+, and about 190. And I don't know if you noticed that, but I just heard the radio get louder. Let me bring it back down again and you can listen. So you're going to get lower. Okay? So we are definitely working on uh, high power and low power. So there's my low power. So it looks like 4K is the ticket. I purchased these, which are 10 watt 5Ks. So uh, I'm going to have to see if I can find some 4K uh, 10 watt resistors. And that's what I'm going to put in here. I'm not going to try jury rigging it here. Sorry about that, having battery problems all over the place. So I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to try to jury rig it with these resistors. I'm going to buy a 4K 10 watt resistor and properly install it. So uh, so I've now found the value that works. This is exactly right on the money. And let me show you the uh, schematic so I can uh, so we can at least be on the same page. Be right back. Okay, looking at the schematic, you'll see right here it's calling for 300 volts DC B plus. And if you follow this down through the 10K resistor right here, it's looking for 167. It's exactly what I have with that 4K resistor. All I did was replace this one with a 4K resistor right there. Okay? So, uh, so that's going to be the plan. Um, I'm now going to take the unit, flip it over, and show you what I did with the tuning cap. And then uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, so here we are. So my elaborate design with the wood boxes and the switches and the meters didn't pan out this time. I just don't have enough room. <laughs> um, what you'll see here is my tuning cap. So I had one of those uh, project boxes and um, you know basically inside the project box was a little circuit board that you can create a project with and uh, it was this circuit board right here actually and uh, you know it's just a plastic box with a bottom and it turns out to be exactly the right size for this tuning cap so I simply just have it mounted in there and I've got the wires coming up underneath going right in and I've got it secured down on the chassis and it's good to go. So that's going to be my, uh, my tuning cap. Um, I'm not going to go with the meter on this one. Um, I may end up building another one of these and, you know, experiment with it. I don't know yet. I still would like to figure out how to incorporate this um, frequency counter. I may still do it here. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. But I want to get that 4K resistor um, connected in there and do that right. And uh, I'm probably going to end up moving this input right here. I have to make that hole a little bit bigger. But that'll be a project for another day. It works fine where it is. So um, so that's the story. This thing is working perfectly. Rerouting everything is exactly what the doctor ordered as far as getting it back up and running. And, um, and it's working well. So, um, so the plan is get my 4K resistor. Hopefully after the storm comes through, this thing will still be around. <laughs> I'm on the second floor here, and you can see behind me there, there's nothing but trees. Some of them are 100-foot southern pines. So uh, as long as those things blow that way and fall, I'm good. If they come this way, well, we'll see. I'll probably end up moving all this equipment away from the window just to be safe. So, um, so that's it for now, folks. If you don't hear from me for a while, I'll try to drop in just to let you know how things are going. Uh, it all depends if I have power and internet. Um, but aside from that, um, we're in good shape, 
and now we're going to get that resistor in place and uh, this thing is going to be almost ready to put into service and John by the way I did follow your advice and lower the volume on the mp3 player and that does make a huge difference very much uh, reduces the distortion and lets you use the radio volume instead to control it so good good uh, suggestion on that okay everybody I will see you when I see you take care